Okay, ready? Yeah, go. Holy shit. Over 120. Here, go again. Hey guys, Evan here. And in this episode of Tech Tips, we're going to be covering a pretty cool topic, which is comparing a really old uh, vintage uh, Model 1920 Maxim suppressor, which is almost 100 years old, um, 98 years old uh, at the filming of this video, with a modern rimfire type suppressor, which is the uh, current rimfire uh, size suppressor in the Griffin Armament line, uh, the Optimus Micro. So we're gonna be comparing these two in the video. Um, just to give you a little a brief history of these uh, items. So the Maxim 1920 uh, used industrial uh, stamped baffles, which uh, aren't really so much used as much today, uh, but back then they were because silencers were less expensive to purchase, so they uh, lent themselves to higher production manufacturing technologies and methods, um, such as stamping, um, but they were of lower quality. So this uh, silencer here actually has 22 baffles in it, if you can believe that. Um, still not too heavy, it's very slender. Um, I think it's a little under an inch in diameter, actually. Uh, it is about an inch and a half longer than the Optimus Micro, however. Uh, when compared to the Optimus Micro, the Optimus Micro is a little bit fatter. Uh, however, you can still see your sights. Um, it's a little bit shorter, about an inch and a half shorter. Um, and it only has five of our patented uh, HEDP baffles um, versus the 22 uh, baffles in the Maxim suppressor. This is interesting because we'll find out that this is actually metered a decent amount better than the Maxim later in the video. But uh, if you're following us on Instagram, we do publish a significant amount of content on Instagram as well as Facebook. So we actually teased this video on Instagram, if you see there in the overlay, um, about a, a month and a half ago or something like that. Uh, we asked people, hey, would you like to see a video on the comparison of these two suppressors? People were uh, very interested in that. And um, Brojack actually commented, uh, make the video because we had not been making the video. That was funny. So thanks for that comment. Uh, we do appreciate seeing your comments and stuff like that. But anyway, uh, I will cut to the video, uh, let you see the sound metering, and then we'll bring it back here to close. 118. 114. 116. 114. 114. 114. 114 half. 114. 114 and a half. 114. Pretty consistent. 114. You saw that the Optimus Micro metered in around 114 decibel average, which is very, very quiet um, on this Ruger 2245 light rimfire pistol. Now, uh, well, we're going to cut to the Maxim stuff, which is going to be really cool in just a second. But what's interesting to note about this is that not only can you shoot the rimfire ammunition through this, like the Maxim model was intended, but you can also shoot everything up to even 5.56 millimeter, uh, 204 Ruger, 22 Valkyrie, you know, lots of varmint cartridges and large centerfire rifle, 22 caliber cartridges the Optimus Micro supports due to the fact that it's made out of, you know, 17.4 stainless steel material. Um, it's a modern suppressor uh, and it, you know, has really cool features like three lug compatibility, taper mount compatibility, etc. But we sound metered it in its original configuration as it ships in the box. And now we're going to cut to the video for the Maxim to let you guys check that out. Holy shit. Over 120. Here, go again. 124. 124. 123. Sure, that I'm okay. I'm good. Let's go. 24. 122. 23. 122. 23. 24. Cool. So, as you may have thought, uh, the Maxim was not going to produce uh, sound levels quite as quiet as a modern day suppressor. Um, however, it, it was at averaged around 124 decibels. Uh, the first round pop was actually over 130. Um, so pretty loud silencer, honestly. I don't think there's any 22 caliber suppressors uh, 
currently made in the modern market that are even nearly this loud. Um, and the funny thing is that, like I previously mentioned, it does have 22 baffles in it. So as I would not be impressed with this currently, I'm sure it was really impressive back in the day, almost 100 years ago, when Maxim was really the only person making silencers. And um, it was an extreme novelty at that point. You know, we've come a long way. And now uh, companies like Griffin Armament, uh, people who are very dedicated in the market space, are reserving a lot of resources for uh, research and design and you know, cutting edge tools, uh, cutting edge machines. They're doing a lot of testing, a lot of um, product development, which is leading to the best consumer products on the market that the US has ever seen. Um, but in its day, I'm sure this was a really, really impressive thing. And it's still really cool today, just as a historical piece. So there you have it. That is the comparison of these two products. Um, the Maxim suppressor is made of some sort of, you know, mild steel. Uh, whereas the, the Griffin silencer is made of a high grade stainless steel, obviously much more durable than the Maxim suppressor. Um, the Griffin micro is obviously much more quiet as well and much more versatile than the Maxim. But for a 100 year old silencer, the model 1920 is actually still pretty cool. And probably the most interesting thing to note about this is that uh, it did come in a user serviceable configuration. So uh, Maxim very quickly realized just like a lot of silencer companies are realizing it now, that people do, on a, uh, in general, want their silencers to come apart, and especially 22 silencers. Um, these are the dirtiest silencers, uh, in my opinion, followed by pistol silencers uh, thereafter, which, which do actually get relatively dirty as well. So you see a lot of user serviceable pistol silencers out there. Uh, rifle silencers, not quite as much, um, but we even make some user serviceable options for those. So I hope you really enjoyed this video. Uh, tune in to our YouTube channel, uh, obviously where this video is listed um, and check us out on Instagram, Facebook. We're going to be doing more content like this in the future and I hope you enjoy the video. Take care. Bye.